Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm Carolyn Grafton. I'm a health coach. I call my business Transform Your Health Today. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, my passion to educate people about what they can do that will be small changes that they can make with their health, with their daily activities, with what they put in their body, small changes that down the road will make big differences. Yes. You know, we heard a long time ago that the, um, that the astronauts, when they were going to the moon, were off course 96% of the time, but they kept making changes and making changes and making changes. And because of those changes that they made, they made it to the moon. So if you look at the statistics, people are dying way too young. There was a, a little article in the paper on the, the health section. It said that black men are now up to 65% chance that they will die of a heart attack. 65%. It's higher than any other group of people. Stress. It was 50 percent a cup, you know, 10 now, years ago, now, now it's and it's just going up higher and higher. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of pieces why all of these things are happening. But what we have, the bill of goods that we have been sold, mm -hmm. is that the food they put in the grocery store <laughs> is actually food. Mm -hmm. That uh, the additives they put into it mm -hmm. don't matter that it doesn't really matter if they spray pesticides on our lawns and in our food and you know and then we bring it into our bodies because because so what you know we're not a plant so why should it affect us half of the money that people spend in their whole life on health they spend in their last year because they finally decide that they're gonna do the Hail Mary pass and they're gonna spend the $100,000 for the surgery or, or whatever. And what does it get them? It gets them, you know, a kind of a low quality year maybe. So I came up with this idea of setting up a health IRA, you know? Probably all of you have some sort of a plan for retirement funding. You know, maybe it's through your school, maybe it's through your job, but you know, a lot of people put aside a little bit of money every day, every week, every month towards their retirement. But what happens if you get to retirement and you don't have any health? At that point, money doesn't do you a whole lot of good. If, you're, if you don't have enough energy, if you're too tired, if uh, you already had two heart surgeries and it's time for a third one and they can't give you another one and they just say, you know what? What you have is what you have. But 90% of the illnesses that we have in this country, not through the world, in this country, come from food choices. Mm -hmm. From food and lifestyle choices. Mm -hmm. So, it's time for people to understand because, I mean, we were talking about school earlier. People don't understand about nutrition. Mm -hmm. People, even doctors, get maybe, you know, a few hours of information about nutrition. Mm -hmm. And the rest is about, you know, where is this and how do you cut that out? And what antibiotics can you give? Mm -hmm. But they don't understand about nutrition and they're afraid and then they're afraid they're going to get sued so they don't even want to go there. Mm. They don't even want to talk to people about how they could change their nutrition. One of the things that's happening that's kind of exciting right now is that a lot of doctors are bringing health coaches into their practices so the health coach can talk with somebody and can help them to make the transition between having, you know, doing their life the way they've been doing it and learning how to cook more healthy, shop better, you know, eat better, put better food in their body on a budget, you know? Everybody's got a budget. That's, that's just really, you know, a fact of life. But there are lots of ways that you can make choices. And if you're going to make a choice where you're going to eat something that's 
that's not really going to benefit your body and then you get tireder and you make silly mistakes and you can't think clearly that wasn't a good food even if it was free in my mind the goal should be healthy 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 dead you know I want to be I want to live to the fullest until the day I die so you saw that I just came in with my broken foot. Bob and I were down in Hawaii, and uh, we were there for our 25th anniversary. We decided we were gonna go snorkeling in this hidden beach, and we climbed down, we were in Kauai, climbed down this long, treacherous hill, and we went snorkeling, and we had a great time, and we saw wonderful fish. And then coming back up, I was holding on to this decrepit rope to get back up again, lost the rope broke my foot. But, I mean, what a hell of a story. <laughs> I mean, I'm 73 years old and I'm able to do that sort of thing and have a full life. And I want to continue that till I'm 100. Wow. So, I don't think I'm going to make it. So, right, well, well, maybe we could work on that and make some changes. It's never too late to start taking care of yourself. I had a wake-up call in my 40s. I got really sick and almost died, and it took me a long time to understand how I could really nourish my body the best that I possibly could so that I would be the healthiest that I could be. I mean, I find it really shocking. My college roommates are all dead. They all died of cancer. My brother died of cancer at age 48. I mean, these things are, are really, it's really too bad that we have been sold this bill of goods. Yeah. I mentioned in one of my other talks that there's something called the bliss factor. Mm -hmm. And the bliss factor is something that manufacturers have figured if you get the right amount of salt and sugar and fat into a food, we can't put it down. So, you know, they've planted, they've spent thousands and millions of dollars to figure out how to fake us out. Yeah, how to pass the part of our brain that says, you don't want that, and change it so that our brain is, is taking in all of this stuff that's calories but not nutrition. I've looked and looked for a long time to find products that I really liked. And I'm going to tell you about some of the products that I have found because I'm really excited about them. And I have seen huge changes in people from adding in more nutrition. I mean, we call it dense nutrition. One of the first ones I want to talk about is something that is an amino acid that is different from anything that's out there. Reverend Fay was telling me, oh, I throw po protein powder in my shake and I make a really good healthy shake. I'm here to tell you that most protein powder is not healthy for you. The sad part is that we don't really have an opportunity to get into the different companies and what they make and how they make it. But if when you're making a vegetable protein powder and you heat it above a certain level, the protein changes and then it's no longer useful in your body. Okay. But how do we know this? I mean, how do we how do we know what people do in you know in their factory? I mean, it's hard enough to find out what ingredients they put in their products. And so, you know, that's one of the reasons that I have narrowed down to you know to very specific things like our like our organic CSA. I know what they do. I've talked to the people there. I know what they put on their plants. I've talked to the people in our farmer's market. I know which ones use chemicals and which ones don't use chemicals. And I ask them. And a lot of places will say, we don't use chemicals. We eat our own food because they understand. And so I'm happy to support those places because yes, you have a little more wastage. So that makes it a little more expensive to buy. But it can be very helpful. I want to tell you about protein and what happens when we take protein into our bodies. Protein is a hard thing for our bodies to digest. When we digest protein, 
a certain part of it is able to go into our cells and into our bodies to make new cells, to make new muscle, to go into your brain. And a certain part of it, the rest of it, has to be eliminated by our kidneys. Whatever we're taking in, we want to keep a balance here. You've all heard of whey, right? W-H-E-Y? Whey is a byproduct of making cheese. And somebody had this really bright idea that they could take the whey and sell it instead of pouring it out. So they convinced everybody that it was a great thing for working out, it was a great protein to have, and we bought it, you know? Yet one more time when they got us. So there's a, there's a, a level called net nitrogen utilization. And that means what part of the protein actually goes into your body and what part has to be eliminated by your kidneys. Whey is 16% net nitrogen utilization. That means that 84% has to be eliminated by your kidneys. Think of these young kids, you know, they're 15, 16, they want muscle. They go and they buy this big tub of whey, you know, at Costco or GNC or someplace else, and they shovel it into their bodies, and down the road, some of them are having kidney problems. Again, from lack of understanding and lack of awareness and falling for the really expensive education that the food companies are trying to give to us. <laughs> it's kind of too bad, isn't it, that we've come to this. It's interesting because a lot of other countries don't allow a lot of the things that they put into the foods that are here. My company has, has developed a form of protein that's actually been fermented. You've had sauerkraut and kefir maybe or yogurt or something like that. Fermenting changes the way your body res responds to it. And this is 99% net nitrogen utilization. So that's really useful for your body. It means that when it goes into your body, your body can use all of it. One of the things, I told you I'm 73, one of the things that happens the older we get, the less we're able to use protein. So that's another trick, you know? That's another sad part that we need more protein, but the amount of protein that we need, if we could really pull it out right, is enough that we blow out our kidneys. So, you know, can't go there. But I have, you know, I use these, these aminos every day. And I find that when I had shoulder surgery a year ago, because because of problems from many years ago that just compounded. I had shoulder surgery, but I prepared my body. You know, so many people tell me I'm going in for hip surgery, knee surgery, you know, whatever. I prepared my body. I gave it lots of this fermented protein. I gave it lots of greens because your body wants to stay alkaline. And look at me, you know, here I am with a 10 year old shoulder, which is really awesome. I mean, I'm really excited to have that. And I also expect that this foot is going to heal 100% because I'm giving it the nutrition that will allow it to heal. Because when my body builds something, if it builds a bone, if it builds a muscle, whatever, it needs the right pieces to build it. So that's really an important part of thinking through what we're going to put into our bodies some of the things I have to, to share with you to, to let you sample, I have some different drinks, uh, different shakes, which are pretty low calorie, but dense nutrition. And you can mix them with water, you can mix them with coconut water, you can mix them with almond milk. I mean, you get to pick that part, and you can throw other things into it if you want. I find it easy just to put the powder in the water, shake it up, drink it down because, and I, I mix a couple different ones so I get a little different taste each time. And I love it, I love the taste. I love what it makes me feel, how it makes me feel. So I actually put something in my body every two hours. One of the things that I've found is my blood, my A1C has gone down. Really, I was pre-diabetic, I'm now totally nor normal. My one son who had cholesterol 
really scary numbers is now totally normal. All right. My granddaughter, who wasn't growing before and had dropped to below the 0% on the growth chart, mm -hmm. has grown seven inches in the last three years. Mm -hmm. awesome. The proper nutrition can do lots of different things. Another piece is pain management. Well, Reverend Fay asked me if I was in pain from my broken foot. And you know what the answer is? Mm -hmm. It's no. Mm -hmm. I am not in pain. Mm -hmm. I have been totally amazed. Mm -hmm. I've been using one of the newest products that, that Purium has come out with. It's a CBD oil mm -hmm. that is made from hemp, mm -hmm. okay. totally legal in all 50 states. and. And ours is pure. There are a lot of them out there that are, that are pretty weak. If you start reading bottles, a lot of them have 50 milligrams, 100 milligrams, 300 milligrams, maybe 600 milligrams in a bottle. And all the bottles are the same size, so it's another way they trick you. Ours has 1,500 milligrams in it. And I've been using it, I was spraying it under my tongue, and I didn't know if it was gonna work or not because I'd never been in, I'd never had a pain before that I had to deal with. But, wow, I mean, it's been amazing. And a friend of ours who's down in Florida, who was having a lot of trouble with arthritis, who couldn't, who could barely get off his couch because his feet and his knees hurt so bad, just rebuilt his dock, which had been damaged by a hurricane. <laughs> Problem of living on the water. And so, you so know, this and this was the same thing with the CBD oil. Now actually it's interesting because my son had surgery yesterday, had a hernia surgery, and they had pumped him up with gas and he was so bloated. He said, Mom, you know, I can't fit any of my clothes on. I have to wear my robe. <laughs> um, he put on like five inches around his middle and he's pretty skinny and really very healthy guy. It's a different, I've got a couple sons. And, um, he is, uh, and I said, look, take some of it, you know, take it under your tongue, the CBD oil, but just rub a little on your belly. Mm -hmm. Today he said he was feeling a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. So that so was- So it's pain relief. So it's pain so, relief. It's actually anti-anxiety as well. Okay. So, you know, we're talking about the stress and how hard the stress is. Mm -hmm. And this is a way to lower the stress level. A lot of different ways that we can, we can take care of our bodies. We have a product called Revive It All, which is, it goes in and it kind of scrubs all the connectors in your brain so that they get your, get the signals better and you actually can get a clearer thinking, better memory. You know, that's just a pill that you can take. There's a joint flex. There are, there are a lot of different things. We have a lot of products. The cool thing is, there's not a single additive in any one of them. They're all pure. There's nothing in it that is not from a plant. If you go and you take vitamins, the vitamins come from a factory, and the factory, if they make them in a natural way, probably make them from genetically modified corn or soy. So we've got the basis there of this genetically modified food that's coming into our bodies. And it's probably only similar, not actually a real, the real exact same thing. So, so again, you know, by putting food into our bodies, our bodies were designed to eat food. Our bodies were not designed to get iron by sucking on a nail. They were not designed to get chemicals from a plant that are similar to chemicals from a factory that are similar to what comes into our bodies and have that be the answer. Vitamin C is an interesting example. Mm -hmm. Vitamin C, the molecule in nature, always twists to the left. There's a word, levergier. Dextragere is the other. All natural vitamin C twists to the left. But when you make it in a lab, half of it twists to the left and half of it twists to the right. And when it goes into your body, the one that twists to the right blocks the place where the vitamin C is supposed to go. On top of that, vit real vitamin C is not just ascorbic acid, it's ascorbic acid plus a whole bunch of other things. Mm -hmm. So we get a little piece of it and it's half wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
and that's what buy, and that's what we buy in the store. And again, we've been we've been told that that's the right answer. So I'd like to I'd like to sort of talk a little bit about ADD and ADHD because you were talking about that earlier, Belinda. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'd like to give a little clarity to a different piece of ADD mm -hmm. than the pieces you were talking about. This year I went to I had a booth at a an Autism One conference, Autism One and treating ADHD naturally, and it's really and and I've done that four years in a row. And I actually had all of the Purium products approved by the Feingold organization, who is an organization that looks for foods that are clean enough that they don't set off all of the uh, neurological problems that happen in these kids. Doesn't mean they're the answer. It means that they're not the problem. So that's an interesting piece. Most of our artificial colors Artificial flavors, artificial fragrances are all made from petroleum. They're all petroleum distillates. There are also some, some preservatives and some other things that are also made from petroleum that we end up ingesting or living around. Those are probably, I believe that, that, that these ADD kids are actually the canaries in the mine. They are showing us that their bodies can't handle these things. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Chances are down the road ours can't either. Mm -hmm. But maybe instead of acting out or getting violent or being unable to think or any of these or just sitting in a corner and getting, to, you know, maybe what we do is we get cancer or we get headaches. You know, it's funny, there was a doctor that was on the radio years and years ago, Dr. Gabe Merkin, and he would talk, and I used to listen to him driving home from work, and he would say, if you get a headache and you take an aspirin, it's like finding that your car tank, your gas tank is empty, and putting a sticky note over it. Mm -hmm. Because you're just covering up what the mm -hmm. problem is. You're not looking into what's going on. Mm -hmm. If you want to live a long life, it's time to start listening to your body and learning what it is that your body is telling you. There was a doctor whose name was Dr. Feingold, and in uh, between 1950 and 1970, he, he was an allergist. So he would try and figure out what kids were allergic to. And he would put them on an elimination diet, and he found out that about 70% of them lost their ADD symptoms, which is phenomenal. It's incredible that such a high number could be affected and we wouldn't hear about it. So we're talking artificial colors, flavors, fragrances. Well, who uses blue toothpaste? Who uses yeah. scented shampoos? Who uses candles? Who uses, you know, all of these things. I mean, we're not even just talking food, which is hard enough to stay away from this. I mean, how many cherries are in a box of cherry jello? Zero. <laughs> it's all petroleum distillate. Sometimes it'll say that it doesn't have a preservative in it, but they put the preservative on the inside of the cardboard and they didn't put it in the food. Okay. <laughs> they didn't put it in the food. It just happened to <coughs> ooze into that. Uh, that's too much sugar. There was a school in the New York City, the, the New York City school system, 1979 to 83, start, they had a, a court order that the school had to take the additives out of the food that was served at the school. During that time, they took them out one at a time, you know, artificial flavors and then artificial fragrances and then the preservatives and you know, so that over the course of the four years, they had really clean food. Mm -hmm. This did not affect everything that the kids ate. Mm -hmm. It affected the breakfast for the kids that came and had breakfast at school. It affected the lunches for people who bought the lunches there. And maybe it affected the snacks. This was before they put blue drinks in the, in the schools to buy. Mm -hmm. And you know, during those four years, the test scores for the million kids in New York City schools went from 31% to 54%. Wow. 
31 to 54. Why wasn't this on the front page of the New York Times? And then the parents mo moved on and they started going back again. And I'd love to know what the numbers are now. And they I'm sure there are lots 31 of... 31 to 54. 31 to 54. What, what, what was it called? That was the national test scores for the million kids in New York City. Okay, so what was the cause? The cause was they changed the garbage that was in the oh, food. Oh, so they changed the food, the way they were feeding the kids. Mm -hmm. They took the scores, out. they took out the trash and the foods. They, they took the out the petroleum they distillates. The, um, she was just they took out the petroleum distillates, mm -hmm. the MSG. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not even the sugar. Mm -hmm. But, you know, so there's an organization called Feingold, feingold.org, that has a really fabulous website if you really want to learn more about it. F-E-I-N. Oh, Feingold. Yes, F-E-I-N-G-O-L-D.org. And you can look at their website and they talk a lot about pure foods and what works and they have gone to help moms so that they know what works and what doesn't work. And for example, Eggo Waffles has buttermilk and country thyme, I think are the two. One of them has all of this garbage in it and the other one doesn't. Why in the world would you do that? Why would you take the time to manufacture two different ones that are similar when you could have just made the clean ones? Because it cost a half a cent more, maybe? I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard for me to even get my head around why it is that people do that. Why well, it's just it like is. all those sodas. You look at some. Now, each one has 200 calories sugar. Each one has a huge <laughs> amount of sugar. Huge like sugar. Like 21 ta teaspoons or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. some, some mind-blowing number. But they also, some of them have artificial colors and artificial flavors and extra caffeine. People drink that and then they want to know why they get cancer. So I want to just tell you about one other product that's new, that's really amazing. That, and then I want to, tell, I want to talk a little more, um, more general. This is a new product called Biome Medic. Now you've probably been hearing lately about how our gut biome actually has 10 times as many cells as we have human cells in our body. That's kind of a mind blower. So we're actually, you know, just the vehicle for allowing these, these gut biome to live. So, but it gets messed up. It gets messed up if you don't, if you're, if you're a cesarean baby, because a lot of it comes through the, the birth canal. It gets messed up if you don't get breastfed gets messed up if you take antibiotics, it gets messed up, you know, with hormones, you know, the birth control pills, things like that. There are a lot of things that end up killing some of your gut biome. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that kills some of it is these pesticides, these herbicides that they put on plants. Because in a way your gut biome is a plant, in a in a sort of a very loose way. So one of those herbicides is called glyphosate or Roundup. Maybe you've heard of it. It's used a lot. We hear the reason we have genetically modified foods is because these foods were modified so that they weren't going to be killed when they were sprayed with the glyphosate. So they trick the plant into thinking it's something other than what it is. And in the process of doing that, it doesn't die. Unfortunately, a lot of plants, the, the weeds aren't dying either anymore because they're getting resistant. But it does affect the gut biome. So one of the other things that, that Purium recently came out with is called Biome Medic. And we were awarded the gold standard from something called the Detox Project. And the Detox Project has studied everything that's out there that says that it detoxes glyphosate, they have, they have gone through testing themselves, and we are the only one that they have certified that really works. Mm -hmm. So I've got a great story. I've got a friend in, in um, the Bronx, and she's got twin boys who are 11. Mm -hmm. And they, they're on the spectrum. 
you know, they're definitely ADHD, but they also have some other, you know, maybe Asperger's somewhere in there. I've never actually heard the name of it, but you know, they're in there. And they are having terrible trouble doing their math homework. Mm -hmm. So she was sending these two boys to the Mathnasium, which is an after school to, you know, program to help to learn a little more about math. So these boys, they have been doing the aminos that I was talking about. They've been doing the shakes. They've been really cleaning up their nutrition and they were still having trouble with their math. And she added in the biomedic, which comes in a capsule. And the kids say it tastes like pizza when they chew it down. <laughs> It doesn't, you know, people are not offended by the taste, okay? Even the ones that can't swallow a capsule will chew it down. And in one month of doing one a day, these boys went from doing a half of a page of their math workbook before they were just spaced out to doing six pages an afternoon. Again, that's one of those reactions that's so incredible that if I didn't know Wendy and I didn't know what was going on with her boys, I would have trouble believing it because it's really awesome. But when I went to this treating, you know, treating ADHD naturally in Autism One conference, two of the things that they talked about a lot were the CBD oil for the anxiety and the biomedic for cleaning out the gut so that these people could, these kids could do a better job of, of thinking. So, you know, one of those things it does is it actually closes down some of the gut permeability and that's really important because even for your lupus, I mean, it's leaky gut that caused things to be able to go into your body that got in there at the wrong time, in the wrong place. So, you know, getting rid of the gut permeability is a really good thing. Getting rid, we're not getting rid of it, we're decreasing it, decreasing it. I've gotten really excited because I think I've found something that's really good. And I know that part of your ministry is, uh, is health and part of it is entrepreneurship. And I've chosen to really want to share with people how they can be healthier. And that really floats my boat. That's right. I'm always looking for some other people who want to share. If this is something that intrigues you, we can help people with weight loss, with blood sugar, with focus and concentration, with uh, building muscle, with a lot of things. Wonderful products for kids that help them to focus, help them to strengthen their immune system, and, and give them the nutrition that they need. There's lots of different pieces that are all working towards helping somebody to be healthy. There's a lot of products out there and a lot of them lie. A lot of them say, oh, we don't use X, but they do. These are proven, you know, these are, these are what they say they are. Both me and my husband here are living proof. You can keep a lot of your health and vitality as you age. That's my goal. So I'd like to see people not die at 48. I'd like to see not people not die in their 60s. I'd like to see people be able to live in a healthy way as long as they possibly can. I'd like to see kids who can think clearly and not have mental problems whatever it is. I'd like to see moms. I work with a birthing center out in Chantilly and if you can give moms some really dense nutrition while they're pregnant, that feeds the baby. Hello. Hello and builds a healthier brain. And then there is a whole program for nursing moms. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways. There's, we need nutrition from the day we're born to the day we die. One of the ways we can be healthy is we can be healthy with our bodies, we can be healthy with our minds, like you were talking about, we can be healthy spiritually, we can be healthy financially. And all of those are good pieces that we can put together so that uh, you know we can live a full life. Like I said, I help people to make small changes 
that they can reap big benefits. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very Carolyn, much. do I say one quick thing? Sure. Yes. So Carolyn is my partner in crime here in life. She's been helping me a whole lot. Uh, just a quick thing. Uh, about five years ago, I got diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. It's a neurodegeneration of part of my brain. Mm -hmm. It causes a lot of problems, of course. But I've been given a lot of hope because there's a lot of new research coming around. Mm -hmm. But when you have Parkinson's, you have to take this medicine called levodopa. Mm -hmm. But you can't take it with protein. Mm -hmm. It has to be timed just right. But when I'm outside, you know, and I have to have protein, this is one of the best things I can have. Mm -hmm. It's got just the right amount of protein for me, and I can time it perfectly. Even though I don't have a meal available, I can't do that at McDonald's. It won't, because my medicine won't work. Mm -hmm. And it's made a really big difference in my life, because I want to continue walking this earth as long as I can to spread the message of hope and love. Mm -hmm. And to honor the light on this planet, my home, and in all the mansions of the stars. That's, right. That's where I want to go. Right. And, and she's a beacon of light. Uh -huh.